Hey, everybody. Welcome to Night Coop. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Night Coop. Hope you all have had a wonderful week, week and a half. Yeah. Uh, I know the last time you saw us, you didn't see us. Well, you didn't, you see, didn't us, see us, did you? No. no. Invisible women. Oh, where'd they go? Oh. Uh, we're right here. Um, and we're happy to be here. Um, so, how are you? I'm I'm doing good, man. You're doing good? Yeah, both of us with our wavy hair and our big hoops. And, and we're doing it. And we're we both got silver. Time. Silver big hoops. Our dog, Soupy, here is uh, refusing to go into the other room, to be polite. Soupy, go to the other room. Go to the other room. Go. Go. Good boy. All right. Great. All right. Perfect. Soup's in the other room. We're ready to get started. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Look, you know what I like about this podcast? We keep What's it live. That? We keep it moving. We do keep it live and moving. There is definitely... Now, I know some people that. might be like, why don't you cut that part out? Well, because you need to understand the environment that we're in. You're on a farm. You're there are dogs on the farm. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. Yeah. Dogs are getting into the chicken coop every now and again. Yeah. And they got to go into the other room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need to say something. What's that? You and I need to level up level in terms up. of... We we owe the folks more more clips. Yeah, man. we really do. We really do. We're sorry we, about that. We owe you more clips. We yeah. owe you. We said the Patreon. I mean, we I know. Just, we just we we're sorry. Blame we're sorry. Kelly. We've been so blame busy. Kelly. Uh, on the road, left and right. I mean, leaving you can't me. Blame me, but it's leaving just, me to survive on my own. Okay, well, it's not like you don't have a computer. <laughs> okay, it's not like you're gonna figure it out. My computer. <laughs> Let me, let me just explain this to everybody real quick, because I know some of the folks folks at home can relate to this type of thing. Okay. Uh, my computer is on its last last leg. Last my, leg. my computer yeah. is, you must have it plugged in for it to even operate. They don't tell um, you this about laptops. They don't tell you this. That, that one, one day, day, they will betray you. And, and they, they will, will get old. They will turn old and gray. Yeah. And they will be feeble. People. And they will just deteriorate over time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They and start getting hot for no reason. Hot for no reason, making sounds. It's like your computer gets menopause. Yeah. What's it's going really, on? It's not good. I don't know. It's not good. Yeah. So I guess you're right. Yeah. I have a nicer computer, but I have it for work. So yeah. To whatever. Yeah. 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 You got a little black dot right on the tip of your nose. I'm go ahead and it. get that for me. There you go. I got it for you. I don't know what it was. That's all right. I don't know. I don't know. You want to jump into the news? Let's do the news, shall Let's we? Let's do it. What do you got, Kel? All right. So first and foremost, um, I so I thought this was funny. Okay. So television personality and American Idol host Ryan Seacrest is receiving heat from fans after the April 24th episode, during which, according to viewers, he made one contestant believe she was in the top 12 when she wasn't. And told another contestant, we might lose you tonight. Okay? Now, I don't think that that's so bad. No, okay? it's not that bad. But. This is reality TV. What he said was hilarious. What did he say? What did he say? That's not the quote, we might lose you tonight. The full quote to contestant Michael Williams. He sang a version of Selena Gomez's Lose You to Love Me. And Ryan song told quick. Michael, you sang Lose You to Love Me. We might lose you tonight. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What a line. What a line. It's Absolutely. So Brian Seacrest has been doing these types of... I mean, the guy has had to pull at people's heartstrings for years since well, 2001. I we're talking about him, right? I would love to be on an honest American Idol where he just finally gets to say what he's been thinking. I mean, he's got to still... Line things up for the commercial break. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. The commercial break and Ryan Seacrest go together like peanut butter and jelly. Okay? Peas and carrots. The peas and carrots. <laughs> peas and Q's. Peas and Q's. Yeah. Cross the teeth. Dot the eyes. Dot the eyes. Ryan Seacrest. Seacrest. A cow and commercial a cat. Break. Cow. A spider and a web. Cat dog. Cat dog. <laughs> cow horse. Point is, they go together. Yeah. Okay? And I think that Ryan Seacrest... If he got to say exactly what he thought, I think mm -hmm. years of of hatred that has been bottled up yep. would finally come out. Uh, Ryan Seacrest has been the only host of American Idol, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's ever left. I don't think he has either. And he shouldn't leave. 
He shouldn't leave. No, he's, he's the staple. He's Ryan Seacrest. Also, without him, the show doesn't... Because none of the original people are still there, right? No, Paul Abdul, Randy Jackson, Simon Cowell, they're all gone. Yeah, it's all like fucking... It's all... You know what? The thing is, is, is that... It? The thing is, Pharrell? is that now the judges, no matter who it is, it's Katy Perry, it's some country guy. I, yeah, yeah. These people, they, yes... They are stars. They're celebrities. They are not Randy Jackson, Paula Abdul, and Simon Cowell. They're they not, are not. They can't be. They, they never because, will be. Because they're not. Uh, they're. They're just not the judges. They're, they're not. not judges. They're singers. Simon was brutal. That's the bit. The best thing about the thing about Simon is he didn't try to sing. He would just tell you if you sucked or not. Yeah. That's what the, that's what they needed. Yeah, you don't need you don't need Katy Perry with her big eyes just, you know, being like, I hope you sing my song. You know, yeah, you don't need because that. Because you know she wants people to sing. Oh my god. What is her deal? She I don't know. I don't know what it is about her. I just will forever be okay with her. I will never yeah. feel anything for that woman. <laughs> I what is it? I don't know. I tried to watch the clip, too, of, like, I know that she and Russell Brand, when they got divorced, she had to perform that night, and she was all upset and everything before she went on stage and still went on stage, and it's like, wow, that is incredible. Like, absolutely. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. That's great. But I don't really care about Who's her. Who's she married to now? Orlando Bloom? Is she? I think it's somebody... I always, in my head, it's always Kira Knightley and Orlando Bloom are supposed to be married. Katie That's how Perry, I see it in my head because husband. of Pirates of the Caribbean. I think it's Orlando... Is mm -hmm. it? I think it's Orlando Bloom still. He, is that right? I can't... I don't know. I'm clicking. I'm clicking. Spouse, does it say? Oh, no, just partner. They're not married. Oh. But he was married to Miranda Kerr. Damn. Damn. That's hard to keep up with. She's it is hard to keep up smoking. with. Smoking. All, right. All right. Go ahead. Next story. Uh, Just a handful of walnuts three times a week boosts attention and brain growth in adolescents, especially those with ADHD. The walnut. The walnut. And I'm wondering if perhaps the walnut could do a little bit of, like, um, reverse. I'm not an adolescent anymore. But but if you were to eat a walnut a day, a walnut a day keeps the wait. What's going on? Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that ADHD is wait. It's just wait. What's, what's happening? I wish that illnesses were that explicit. I, I wish they like were. I wish they were that obvious. Like it, it'd be because you would be like, oh, they clearly have ADHD. They keep yelling, "What's <laughs> happening?" You know. Whereas like it's it, it's not as you know yeah obvious as that. I mean, there's long, long lists of things that people say is ADHD related. We all have it at this oh point. Oh my god, the lists! I'm like, I'm like, I, I do all these things. <laughs> But I, no one ever told me that there was something wrong with it. Yeah. What do you What do you mean? Yes, I feel everything. I feel. <laughs> well, you're not actually supposed to feel everything. You're supposed to kind of just kind of not even focus on. How what does you're anybody feeling. know what any of us are supposed to do? That's what I'm kind of wondering too. Like, is there a blueprint for the brain? Yeah. Is it a disorder or is it just my order? My order of business. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I just like to do things a little more sporadically yeah everybody's different everybody has different strengths i start oh, wearing one of those t-shirts that's like adhd is my superpower <laughs> 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 i just think that uh, knowing that i have some certain things that align with add adhd now yeah. i've never been told before you definitely don't have it no me neither no people are like oh yeah you could do a test but it's kind of like What's the point in doing the test? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm like, now that I know that I am this way, I'm like, I don't think I'd want it without it. I don't think I'd want my brain without this. No, 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 no. Me Because I think people with ADD and ADHD have a little more fun than other people, like when they're alone. They're hilarious. Oh, it's so fun. We're hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> but it drives me nuts when people can't keep up with an ADHD brain. Yeah. 
when people are like, can we stay focused? I'm like, actually, we can't. Actually, Literally, and why would you? Do that. <laughs> we're going to jump around <laughs> and hopefully you stay, you keep up the whole yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Keep you on your toes. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Also, I do want to say that I love when I get to crack a good walnut. Oh, my gosh. Old fashioned nutcrackers. Oh, yeah. Oh, Christmas yeah. time. Those are the damn. Those are the damn. I was about to say the damn pits, but that doesn't make any sense. Damn pits. <laughs> I love a nutcracker. Yeah. Not like the proper one. Like, I don't like the guy. The guy creeps me out. I don't like the guy either. I also don't like the one that doesn't have the, the little claws on it to... Big meaty claws. claws to like to to fully go around the nut. Yeah, do you know what I'm talking no, about? No, you need you need the ridges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the little ridges that the, crack the nut properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know those silver ones that don't have anything on them. Yeah, get out of here. Oh my, get out of here. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do with that? I mean, I, you can't try to crack it with that without also saying a prayer. Yeah. That it cracks because it ain't cracking. <laughs> that thing ain't cracking. And if it, it does crack, like it's not. <laughs> if it does crack, it's not cracking correctly either. Yeah. It's not cracking on the middle. It's, it's doing little shards. Yeah, on the side. Yeah. Oh my Before God. you know, you got a walnut shell in your cornea. But then, when you get a good clean nut crack, oh, oh my buddy. God, I'm half and half like that. Heaven, uh, heaven. When you get a full half a walnut, it's like. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it's really like when you open an orange correctly. <laughs> it is. It when is. You, when you successfully open an orange without accidentally digging your finger into the orange. Mm -hmm. Whoo! Mm -hmm. I mean, call me the master of food. Yeah. Yeah. Some things are just satisfying in this life. Some things, man. All right. Uh, my next story. All right. So Britney Spears' autobiography could be delayed amidst rumors of her revealing affairs with A-listers. Here's my thing. Maybe we give her a minute. Maybe we don't need the autobiography yeah, right now. Yeah, maybe we don't need anything from Britney Maybe, at this maybe point you time. just got let out. Yeah. Maybe you take a second. Well, what's interesting is that there's theories circling around right now that her account on TikTok is actually an Poster who's using a Britney Spears filter and I did watch one of the videos that supplied the proof that it was a filter yeah something's up good something's up where is she I don't know it's an autobiography though yeah but mm. at the end of the day though was the proof that she actually wrote it exactly. I don't even know exactly because right now, I'm wondering if she can even write. Who knows if she's even alive? <gasps> really? Is that what people are saying? That's what people are saying. I mean, they had that moment with Avril Lavigne, too. Yeah. Where they didn't know if she was even alive. I mean, I hope that she's whole alive. That really interesting. I hope she's alive. I just, yeah, you know, too. I think that... Like, are there any quotes directly from... Has anyone spoken directly to Britney? I have not spoken to Britney. I haven't spoken to Britney either. So she might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Two people here that have not spoken to Britney Spears recently. <laughs> but I mean, if you really think about it, like we've never seen her. Like she hasn't been outside of what she's posting on social media. Like paparazzis haven't gotten pictures of her. Where is she? Where, is Where she? in the world is, is Britney Spears? Britney Spears. I don't know. I find it so bizarre because she must know something that she's yeah. not supposed to know. Yeah. It's yeah. got, or maybe she slept with somebody or mm -hmm. maybe, or maybe she got assaulted by somebody and she's like, I'm going to say it. Yep. And they're like, no, you're not. We're going to keep you locked up on this island. I don't know. I would imagine that at least put her on a nice island if they had to yeah. lock her up somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? That's scary. Okay, All your right. turn. Man summits highest peaks of England, Scotland, and Wales with fridge on his back for mental health. I read this article. This man, the whole idea was that he would do this climb okay. with a, I believe, it, it, it was a, a large fridge on his back to basically resemble that the, the idea that the weight of mental health can weigh just as much as a fridge on your back as you climb through Scotland, England, and Wales. Wouldn't you put it on your head? 
<laughs> like, wouldn't the weight of it for mental health, wouldn't it feel wouldn't it? on your head? Like, I'm not like, oh, I'm depressed. My back! <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, like, I see what he's I saying. I see it, but it's also... There's certain things nobody asks you to do. That, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bless this man, but that is one of the dumbest fucking things you could ever do. You could ever do. Why don't you just donate an hour to the suicide hotline or I something? Know. You don't need to fucking, uh, you don't, it, nobody's, you know what the thing is? Everybody, and I, and I hate to be like this, but it is the truth. In terms of mental health, we are aware. We are aware. We are aware. The awareness has happened. It's reached everybody. <laughs> it's like it's like if you were to be like, uh, I'm bringing awareness to global warming. We know. We know now. We know. We're heating up. Now it's, you are know? we doing something about it? Are we not? But yes. in regards to blatant just, did you know? We know. We know. <laughs> everybody knows. I mean, it's not a secret anymore. Right. Right. Yeah. I, I We don't have to put fridges mm -hmm. on our backs and climb through Scotland, England, and Wales. We don't no, have we to do We don't it. need to do that. Well, and also, I mean, it also depends on who your friends are, right? Because if his friends are also corny like that, yeah. they'll be like, wow, you're incredible. Our friends would be like, why the fuck? Why would you do that? Why don't we just go to the bar and you film like a TikTok saying, take care of yourself. However way that might be for you. Yeah, it's just so unnecessary. Well, good for I also him, don't I like guess. this this president being sent set of like, I gotta carry things. Yeah, it's a around. freaking prove a point. No. No. Definitely not. All right. My final story is so this dude has been on death row for uh over two decades has faced multiple execution dates. His name is Richard Glossop. Okay? Yeah. He, the Supreme Court blocked Oklahoma from executing him. He has already had three separate last meals. This man has come so close. And why, then... Why are they not killing him? They're basically like... uh like it's he shouldn't be killed because he basically was involved in a long standing battle to live after he was incarcerated accused of a 1997 murder for hire plot so i think i think the debate is like he shouldn't be executed over that yeah which i think the person that hired him is someone that should be more punished? Yeah, more in trouble. I don't know if either person should die there. I don't know if I should. Either I don't person know if I agree die. with him dying. Me neither, because I'm kind of like, well, you murdered for hire, but I mean, like, who'd you murder? You know, I wasn't yeah. like a really. Because here's the other thing is that he's had a wife like the whole time. And it's like, Damn. if you're married with a wife, I just don't, it just seems like there's more to the story here. Yeah, yeah, there's more to the story, but. But what I thought was funny was three, three. you've had three last meals. <laughs> three last meals. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's not a luxury, but it's like to be like, <sighs> I'll eat whatever I want right now. Yeah. And not have to worry about it. Yeah. But then you end up worrying about it because you're like. I'm alive again. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's very... Because everyone very knows strange. what they pick for their first yeah. last meal. Right, But course. not your second and your third. It is interesting whenever you say to somebody, like, what would you pick as your last meal? If somebody thinks in their head, I'm about to be executed, or it's because I'm about to die. Like... I think executed. I think executed, too. Yeah, because if you... I don't think... Last meal, if I'm, like, on my freaking deathbed yeah i might just be like i'll take a cup of soup like i don't know <laughs> I don't how feel hungry. good <laughs> i don't feel i obviously do not feel good i'm fucking dying like i don't know if i'm gonna be that hungry <laughs> and i don't want to die with a tummy ache can i get a cup of chamomile <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. you're not gonna be like i'll take the fried chicken and the <laughs> yeah, whatever right 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 
Yeah. All right. Your turn. My final story. This woman, this is so horrible. This British woman, she fed over 1,600 people in need with food from her garden. She had her garden. It was huge, and it was like... Uh, all set up to to grow properly and everything. Ugh. Vandals came in, covered the entire thing in salt, killed all of her crops. What? Yeah. Why? Where was this? This was <coughs> in England. Oh my god! I know. What the hell? I know. Pure evil. That's so evil. evil. <laughs> That's so evil. Oh my god. <laughs> No, and she went on TikTok and she was like, "When when salt gets poured on it, not only does it kill the crops that are there, but it it it, it won't let me grow anything beyond." God, uh, like what is wrong with you? Well, I guess she could build like a park. Yeah. Also, or, what did she do that somebody why had this? Did this the out vandals? For her? Was this nothing? Has no story behind it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? What did you do to these vandals? Who was the vandals? Why did they feel the need? I don't trust it. I don't, I don't trust, trust it, it either. You're That's just, such an insane you're just, crime. You're just a woman with a garden you're that got vandalized? The, yeah, and somebody's mad at you? Like I that? don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Also, where'd you get all the salt? Well, they have bags of salt at, like, Home Depot, I right. guess. Right. Also, I mean, at the same time, this is somebody who's big on TikTok. There are a lot of things people do in this life for views. You're saying she poured the salt herself? She put it on her own fucking crops. You're thinking that she put the salt on she her own She put the salt on her own fucking crops. crops and then made a video and going made a video. vandals. Vandals. Because I'll tell you this right now. Hmm. Never once referred to anybody as a vandal. Never. 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 I don't trust it. I think she did it herself. I think she did it herself, too. Views. Did people say that in the comments? I didn't read the comments. Oh, interesting. Yo, let's get this started, that she did it for views. I'll spread a messy rumor like let's this. Let's do the rumor mill. Let's do the... Because here's the thing. Nobody died. Nobody okay, died. Nobody died. fine. It's your veggies <laughs> are done. Your veggies, your veggies are, are done. done. You got no more veggies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, if she does this whole move where she's like, all of a sudden my vegetables are growing, then she's a fucking fraud. Exactly. Because you just told us that there's no way. It's a miracle. My ve my veggies are okay. Right. Is it a miracle? How do we know it was actually salt and not sugar? How do we know? We don't know. We don't know. We didn't taste it. We don't know nothing. I didn't go into that garden. I did, I've put never my been to down, England. Lick my finger and put it down I've and touch it. I've never been to England to taste this garden. No. I've never been to mm -hmm. England and I haven't talked with Brittany recently. Okay. I'm so not believing anything. Brittany's somewhere. Yep. But she's not at home. Not at home. The garden? Poisoned by the old mo old woman. Is yeah. she old? I don't know. 45. 45? Old enough. Old enough. To, old enough to salt your own garden and cry about it. Old enough to call somebody a vandal when yeah. they don't exist. Right. Old enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think? Huh? Maybe she's in cahoots. Maybe. Maybe she's in cahoots with the vandals. Maybe. Yeah, maybe she was like, look, I'm tired of feeding these fucking people. Yeah. Please vandalize my fucking garden. I need a reason to stop. I need a reason to stop, and the only reason I could come up with is if either you or me pour salt all over my vegetables. Yep. I think we've cracked this case. I, I think mean, I think I think it's it. case closed, honestly. All I know is I'm not buying it. No. No. All right. We're moving on to this or that? Yes. Perfect. Which we had steakhouse. Yep. Okay. Um, so in terms of steakhouse, we're talking about the food. Yeah. That, that is at one. You want to go first? Sure. Okay. A classic mashed potato, but it's $12? Or a sweet potato fry, and they're $4? Ugh. Enough with the sweet potatoes. I agree. I'll I pay three times the price. Oh. Yeah. I'm I already at the steakhouse. I'm not looking for a deal on fries. Right, 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 right. Also, there's something about... I have to sneeze. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> there's something about... A sweet potato fry that is such a false sense of health. Yeah. And I'm like, save it. Just save it. Just eat the save fry. It. Eat the, eat the regular fry. fry. Also, mashed potatoes compared to a sweet potato. If you said to me, mashed potatoes versus a sweet potato with like brown sugar and butter. And pecan. Yeah. Whatever on top. Then I would maybe pick that for $4. But I'm not doing the fry anymore. No. No, it's doing no. the fry. It's not 2012 anymore. A mashed potato is so fucking good. Why would you want it? Why? 
I yeah. could eat a bucket of mashed potatoes. What's crazy about mashed potatoes is I make the same claim, and then after like three bites, I'm like, I've never been more full in my life. Really? Mashed potatoes fill me up like crazy. I can eat at Huber's. Yeah. Por- those mashed oh, potatoes. Oh, those mashed potatoes. Because the thing is, is that some people are doing too much trying to do like, put like fucking sour cream in it we and don't make need, it like all like no. hearty. It doesn't need to be so, so fucking gluttonous. We don't need it, rich. We, we just need the potato, salt, butter, a little bit of milk. That's it. That's it. Case That's close. It. Case close. Your turn. Okay. Baked potato. Uh huh. Or a Caesar salad. Because here's the thing. I love a baked potato. Me too. But to me, a Caesar salad is the only salad that I'm going to get at a steakhouse. I agree. I'm not going to do... A balsamic. I'm not going to do the one with the strawberries on it. No. 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 So if I want a salad, I feel like I have to go Caesar. And most steakhouses, if they have a baked potato, they got a mashed potato. Right. So I'm probably going to go Caesar. Mashed potato. Later on. Yeah. I think I'm going to pick the Caesar. Me too. Because I do want to start my meal with something a little bit healthy. Uh-huh. Yep. And I also, love a Caesar. I love a Caesar too. And also, I've been eating a lot of baked potatoes lately. I don't know what's going on. I brought this up at work the other day. Really? Yeah. I, they're, they're so good. They're so good. But sometimes they're undercooked. Yes. And an undercooked baked potato. Criminal. Awful. Really bad. Yeah. And as much butter as you want to put on it, it's still, it doesn't. It's undercooked. It's, it's what it is. It's what it is. I love a perfectly good, well-cooked baked potato with salt on the outside. Oh, oh my God. Ruby Tuesdays used to have the best one. Oh, the they best had good baked freaking potato. freaking one. All you had to do when you went there, you get a baked potato and a salad. You could only get it after three o'clock, though. I do remember that. Yeah. Well, you could do it at Sizzler, too. Oh, really? Yeah, just a baked potato and salad bar. Oh, my gosh. We got to go to Sizzler. I know. I know. It rips. All right. My next one? Mm-hmm. French onion soup or onion rings? French onion soup. It's not even a debate for me. I agree. The onion ring can go. I don't need an onion ring. I don't ring. need an onion ring. I don't really think anyone needs an onion ring. If it, a blooming onion, I hear you. But blooming onion, better than an onion ring. Yeah, yeah. That's my humble opinion. But I think that the, um, what was the other one? You French just onion soup. French onion soup is also a steakhouse classic. And when it's done right, good Lord. Oh, my good gosh. Good Lord. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely I go French onion soup. I just love the way that they don't even give a fuck in terms of the cheese. Yeah. They're putting it all over that stupid little bowl. It's all over the bowl, man. It's all over the bowl. They got no, no shame in how much cheese they put on it. I, when I first looked at a French onion soup, I was like, there's no way I will enjoy that. There's no way it's I will insane. like that. And then I put it in my mouth and I went, Crossed alive, he is risen. Yep. That shit is good. Yep. That's how I felt about dick. I'm kidding. Kelly <laughs> Ryan. This is just this or that. We're not even talking about anything crazy. We're not even doing anything that wild. I saw the opportunity. I saw and the opportunity. I had to take it. You had to take I it. I had to take it. Your turn. <laughs> um. So my next one is... A half roast chicken, okay, like they do, uh huh, or a New York strip. See, I didn't do a fillet because I knew you'd pick fillet. Mm-hmm. But a New York strip, you never get the strip. I normally don't get the strip. I do get the strip when I go to Granville. They got that chimichurri sauce, and I get it with mashed potato. Oh, oh. my god! Uh, <laughs> but hmm. I always go the half roast chicken because I don't eat beef. I'm going to go so, half roast chicken. The half roast chicken, you're getting such a big meal. Yeah. Yeah. And I love h- how often they do like a time situation. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's so good. The half roast chicken's good. Yeah. And a lot you get of times it, it's good. And you get it with the potatoes. I think at the end of the day, Kelly and I are going to steakhouses for potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't really care about the steakhouse portion, I guess. It's more of the, I want a potato house. That's what I want. But you can't do the full potato house. You can't do the full potato <laughs> house because you cannot do the sil- like you can't like when they do macaroni and cheese places or grilled cheese places. No. They nope. always no. suck. They're 
bad. You cannot focus. You can't put all your energy into the side. No. You have to have the mains. And the you have side. to have insane sides. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. I'm totally, I totally agree. Go ahead. I also, I think every single place that has mac and cheese as an entree, mm -hmm. it's never as good as places that have mac and cheese as the side. Never as good. It's never as good. No. No. Um, eight ounce filet mignon or 24 ounce ribeye, same price of $48. Oh, you go filet. You go filet. You go filet. You go filet. It's too high quality of a cut of meat. It's so... And I, filet mignon, I just... It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. It's so good. Whenever someone's like, I would like my filet mignon butterflied, I'm like, you've ruined it. You've... You, it was so cute in it its little so package. Cute. Yeah. In its little square. Yeah. There's no need to butterfly it. No. It's going to take a little bit longer. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Grow up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. All right. Here's. Here's. I genuinely have a problem with this one. I cannot figure out. Okay. Skillet. Macaroni and cheese. Okay. Or mashed potatoes. This is sick. I know. Because I truly think if you tell me their mac and cheese is insane, I'm going to have to get the mac and cheese. I'm going to have to get the mac and cheese. If it's in a skillet like that? Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about, too, where they got the little crumbly yes, on top. Yes. and it's Oh, yeah. I know it. I know it well. I think if it's a skillet, then I have to do it. If it's in one of those boat things, I can skip it. Forget it. But a skillet? A skillet. You're getting an extra layer of crunch. Yeah. To it, like a little bit of crisp. Yeah, I'm going skillet. I'm yeah. going skillet a mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I love macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese so much. I should make macaroni and cheese soon. You should. I really should. All right. All right. Going to I Got Beef? I've got a What the Cluck. Oh, let's do What the Cluck. Yeah, go ahead. My What the Cluck. <clears throat> my What the Cluck is that old school scales at the doctor are the rudest fucking thing on yeah. the face of the planet. Yeah. Not only are you always heavier than you thought you would be, but on top of that, you now have a medical professional figuring out your weight. Oh they are problem solving, thinking. Dragging the thing. Oh, it's not uh, this one. It's not this. Uh, it's not that. Uh oh, looks like, like you're a little fatter. Oh, then we. You're thought. not quite that fat. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh hold there on. we are. There we are. Found it. Like, uh, <laughs> it's like, can we not just step on? Do I, we not have the electronics? <laughs> do we not have the electronics at this point? I, I mean, you gotta weigh me like a pig at the fair. Are you <laughs> fucking about to kidding say me? The same thing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, at this point, I'm going to turn and there's going to be people standing around. <laughs> <laughs> Clapping. How much does she weigh? All right. Bigger than we thought. <laughs> Bigger, Bigger than, than we, we thought. thought. <laughs> no one no one gets on the scale at the doctor and was like, oh, wow. oh that's it? <laughs> Get real. <laughs> My God. Most I humbling experience. And then they walk you to your room. <laughs> Like you're about to be slaughtered. Hey, let's get you in there, Tubbo. <laughs> Can you fit through the door? <laughs> it's awful. Oh, my God. It's so insane. Why don't they just update the fucking scale? Why can't it be like, I feel like we should have like a fucking TSA machine where you walk through and it just tells you how much you weigh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or maybe gives you a ballpark. I don't need to know the exact number. Give me a ballpark. Give me a ballpark. We're between... This and this. This and this. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think I've given up on the whole idea of just being a certain number. Uh, oh, it's, it's stupid. It's never going to happen. It's so stupid. It's never going to happen. And at the same time, Kelly, we turned 30 on Sunday. Yeah. We're not we're not focusing on the small things like a number <laughs> anymore. Yeah, that we is can't. true. Yeah. It would just be a total fucking waste of time. Yeah. N right now, my health is determined by, I'm like, am I dehydrated? Yeah. I'm trying to drink more water. I'm trying to drink more water. I think that's what it is. You get a bit older and you go, look, I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. okay. And as long as you're trying, I think you're fine. I, I really think you're do. Fine. I think you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I was talking this weekend um, when I was in a green room and uh, I was 
telling them how I'm trying to, you know, eat certain things less, whatever. And they were like, oh, are you on a diet right now? And I was like, the real question is, is when am I not? When am I not on a, I mean, when am I not trying to be healthier? I think it's just our diet. We try to eat well. We try to eat well. That's it. Yeah. And like, I mean, that's what the doctor asked me when I went. He was just like, do you try to eat healthy? I was like, yeah, for the most part. And he was like, okay. Yeah. I mean, we're not acting out of line all the time. No. Do I love wings? And I love a chicken tender. Uh, But. For the most part, I mean, we're pretty good eggs. You know, this morning, what did I have? Two eggs on top of some rice? I actually haven't eaten today. Really? Yeah. Well, you got to eat. I know. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're what the clock? Okay. So I go to this hotel in Alabama, and it's like a standard. It's like a Hilton. Yeah. Okay. It is a Hilton, but it's like one of their off-brand, whatever, yeah. right? The little store that is next to the front desk... Mm-hmm. A, should be open all night long. 24-7, yep. B, should serve drinks, like at least waters and Definitely. sodas. C, th- there should be a hotel bar that's open till like 2 a.m. Yeah, okay. I agree. I believe these things. This hotel lobby, the selection of things that you could get was like... Little protein bars or cookies, and that was like it. Ugh. There was no that chip. Sucks. There was no chip. <laughs> <laughs> what the clock? What the clock? There Are was, you even a hotel at that point? There was no. I, that's what I'm saying. There was no chip. You know what also pissed me off was there was no like. You know, normally they have like a freezer that has like a pizza in it or yeah. or you know craft yeah whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. none of that. Nothing, huh? They were selling T-shirts for the for the hotel. T-shirts. I was like, I don't want to for the off brand of the Hilton. I don't need a T-shirt for this shit. When will people start to realize that we're not coming to the hotel to find a room? We're coming to the hotel for the chips. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping the one that I said this week. I'm hoping that it's got a good yeah. selection. Because I don't feel like ordering late night food. Right, right. Just but I'm hungry. Snack. And I don't eat candy. That they had candy too. Oh, okay. But I'm like, I don't eat candy. I'm not I'm not doing candy late at night <laughs> like I'm seven. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was my what the clock. Go ahead. I've got beef. I've got beef. Or we've got beef. Yeah. It's we've, we've got, got beef. beef. Yeah. Go ahead. But I specifically mm-hmm. have beef. With people who when the food gets to the table, they don't eat right away. What the hell is that about? What is that about? We just got the food. We just got the food. It's time to eat. I once dated this guy who would talk and talk and talk. Matt? Yeah. Yeah. Before he ever touched his food. And I would be like, eat your food. It's going to get cold. Oh, my God. All the time. And I I understand the whole polite notion of trying to wait until everybody gets their food. I understand that notion, of course. But what I'm talking about is when the food is all laid out. And you're not, it's time. I'm also, I'm starving. I'm starving. Yeah, no, you have to, you got to eat it. You got to, you, you got to eat it immediately. It's time to devour it. And I know we're fast eaters. I know we that. are, we are. But I came there to eat. I came there to eat. If I wanted to sit around and fucking talk to you, I'd sit at home. I also, I mean, at the same time, it drives me nuts. The people who really try to soak up their time at the table. If they're not getting anything else. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I think we bitched We're about table this last turning. Week. Did we? Either last week or the week before, I think we bitched oh, about this. Oh, yeah. It's time to get up and go. Yeah. That's yeah. why when the food gets to the table, it's time to eat. Yeah. Because eventually you got to get up and go. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I think it is? It's the blatant disregard for the people, the rest of the people that are in the restaurant. Yeah. It's the fact that the waiters and waitresses want to turn the tables. And then when you're waiting to eat the food... Now we got to wait until you're done. Yeah. Because, I mean, he would do that all the time. I'll talk shit about you, Matt. It's fine. Whatever. We're, <laughs> we're still friends. It's fine. Took forever um, for him to eat. Huh? Took forever for him to eat. Yeah, and then he'd be like, hey, I'm still working on it. I'm yeah, like, no of course shit. you're still working on it. You didn't get to work soon enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I have liked doing lately is ordering some appetizers and then figuring out what I want. Yeah. That's I've fun. enjoyed that lately because I've that too. I feel like I used to just be like, no, nah, I don't want any appetizers. But now I'm kind of <laughs> like, well, hold on. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. 
Wait, because this, because then I have a couple of apps, and then I'm like, I just want a salad. Yeah. I think it ends up saving me in the long run because yeah, yeah, you yeah. share these tiny apps. Right. And then I'm like, eh, I just yeah, I don't need the burger. I just I'm want just, a salad yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the move. I think it's the move too. We went to this place the other night called the, the Belmont. Belmont. Uh, I cannot rave about it enough. I was telling everybody how great it was. This place, so if you're in Los Angeles, can't recommend it enough, the Belmont. They had the best wings. It was like a sweet Thai chili wing. Yep. And we got this corn dip. I got a great arugula salad. I had a great Caesar wrap. A great uh, chicken Caesar I wrap. Know. Now, the only thing that was strange was karaoke was going on. Which the karaoke, we love karaoke. We, we love karaoke. We didn't know obviously, when we got the reservation that, that karaoke there would was be happening. karaoke. But the we very rarely go to karaoke in Hollywood. Yes. And seeing the people that show up to this karaoke, they're recording themselves. They're ready to post it. It was alarming. It was alarming. These people were giving it their all. Giving it their all. Coming early to sign up and be ready for it. Yeah. Like it was it was something. It was on it was like, oh no, dreams are dying in this city. That is right. Yeah, that is right. You know what I there I I know that I, I figured this when I first moved here, that what people do online is a facade. I know that. Right. Of course I know that. Sure. But when you see it in action. Oh, yeah. When you see it being filmed and you're going, this man is about to post this on his Instagram saying, great show tonight. Mm -hmm. He sure will. He sure will. He sure will. And this idea that people post to show you that they're doing things. Yep. It's almost like a lot of people in L.A. are, like, constantly trying to prove to the people that they left in their hometown, like, hey, I'm not, I'm not a loser. I'm yep. doing things. I'm in L.A. Like, I'm out here. I mean, we're all out here, man. We're all out here. So <laughs> unless you got something important to say, you might as well zip it. Yeah. Because you want to know something? I'm watching you right now do karaoke. And you're bombing. <laughs> and and you're not good either. It's just crazy because we're very used to the dive bar demographic for karaoke. I love a dive bar bomb at karaoke. Absolutely. That makes total sense. You're in the right environment. Exactly. But I'm sorry. If you're going to pull up to the Belmont yeah. where the wings it's are 15. It's called the Belmont, It's called dude. the Belmont. You can't be showing up here and doing your whack-ass karaoke. No. No. Also... This poor son of a bitch. There's a fucking, <laughs> there's a TV in front of you when yeah. you're singing. And there's one behind you. And this guy is turned back facing the audience, reading off the screen behind him. Horrendous. And you're just like, I mean, I'm sorry. I almost wanted to have a fucking card with numbers on it to be like four, <laughs> two. I mean, oh, you I need know. some feedback. And on top of that, like, it, this is your karaoke song. This is the one that you're going out the gate, guns a-blazing, you're singing. Do you're you not know it? You're f exactly. Your first one needs to be a banger. After that, the audience can trust you where you can walk up there and you go, I never did this one. I've never done this one before. And they go, oh, well, you're a good enough singer. We'll yeah, listen yeah, yeah, through, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, whatever. But you can't come out of the gate doing karaoke on a song that you're not familiar with oh or my. don't crush. You gotta have your song. You know, but you can't save everybody. No, you can't. That's the other thing. You can't. All right. Um, you did yours? We've yeah. got beef? Okay. And now I'm doing mine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've been flying a lot recently. And obviously flying is the a great place to get very annoyed. Yes. Okay. The woman next to me, oh boy, <laughs> on my flight from DFW to Huntsville, shows up a minute before gates close. I almost had the seat to myself. That's the other thing. I mm. almost had the seat next to me to Empty. myself. Yeah. Empty. She shows up. Mm -hmm. She's the most 40 year old Southern bitch I've seen in a minute. Mm -hmm. You know how, like, 
women just start matching colors because they don't know how to do fashion anymore. Yep. So it's just like, well, the red shirt goes with the red shoes. You know, like it's yep. like something happens. <laughs> I right. don't know what goes on. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so she sits down. She's like, it's so hot in here. I'm like, yep. <laughs> like, yeah, they're trying to turn on the air more. She's like, oh, I just thought it was just me. I'm like, well, it's not just you. And if you got here on time, then you would know that everyone's been hot for about everyone's 15, 20 minutes. Then. Waiting for you to show the fuck up. Bitch. Yeah. So zip it. Yeah. We're going up in the air. I hadn't put on a mask yet. I, I'd like to wear my mask on planes, but I was like, eh, I don't know. It's only an hour flight. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Dad, do I need a wet? Blah, blah, blah. No one else is wearing it. Specifically, definitely from Dallas to Huntsville. Right. But I go, you know what? Let me just put it on just in case, right? And thank God I did. Because this heathen next to me takes off her sneakers, okay? Which sounds bad enough. You no. don't take off your shoes on the plane. You do not. But specifically, Alexandra Ryan, you do not take off your sneakers on the plane when you are not wearing socks. Insane. Absolutely disgusting. What? Out of your mind, bonkers to do. What? Especially after you just complained about how hot it was. Yep. You got your feet, hot. Your feet are sweating. Sweaty feet. Thank God I put my mask on. You know how much that would have reeked? That's insane. People really, they just, they do not give a fuck, do They're they? They're animals. They're animals. They're fucking disgusting. I'm like, do you think, I'm sorry. And, it, and I feel like it's this thing that some women believe of like, what, I'm a lady. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're no, not. No, you're not. You're a woman. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not. Uh, exactly. You're a woman. You're 190 pounds in matching red shirts, red shoes. Yes. Okay. You're not this dainty little fragile thing that's like, oh, my feet. No. Oh, my feet. No, no, no. You're no. getting off the plane and you're going straight to Chick-fil-A. Yeah. There is no cuteness about you. No. It's over. It's done. It's you cannot finished. take your shoes off. No. Jail time. And even Truly. at the end of the... And it's not... What I'm saying is not written in fat phobia. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you can't take your shoes off. No, it doesn't matter who you are. You shouldn't be taking your shoes off on the plane. You shouldn't be taking your shoes off on the plane, especially if you don't have any socks on. Exactly. It's fucking disgusting. But it's like this idea that a lot of women, I think, have. It's like, I'm just a a girl. And it's like, well, you're not just a girl. You're not. You're not a little girl taking her shoes off. No. You're a grown-ass fucking woman with sweaty-ass feet Mm -hmm. like the rest of us. Mm Mm-hmm. Pissed me off. Would have pissed me off, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And how's open mic? Yep. Let's do it. Go ahead. So this week's uh, category was hairdressing. Yes. Okay. I have a monologue, if you will. Okay. Hi, thank you for calling Tina's Hair Salon. How can I help you? Oh, okay. Looking to make an appointment today. Okay. Did you ever think that maybe a place of this caliber would need a little bit more time than an ASAP appointment? We are Tina's Hair Salon, not Super Cut Sunny. Oh. Oh, it's fine. No, (laughs) it's fine. What were you looking to do? A cotton color. <laughs> a color day off. A full color. A full three hour fucking ordeal. And you thought Tina's would be able to fit you in. What color are we trying to achieve, honey? Bleach. Bleach white blonde. From black. <laughs> so a six hour, a six hour appointment. You really, honey, this is just, I mean, it's offensive at this point that you think Tina's would just drop everything we're doing to fry your fucking hair. Your name, honey? Angela. Okay, Angela. I'm just going to be totally transparent with you. You can come in at whatever time. I don't have anything on the books for today. We'll see you in about an hour, okay? Can you, Angela, honey, can you bring me a Diet Coke and a pack of camels? Oh, she hung up. Okay, well, if we see her, we see her. (laughs) I mean, you can't show up to Tina's. (laughs) You cannot show up to Tina's. You can't show up to Tina's thinking that we don't have anything on the books, but by the way, we have nothing on the books, so come on in. So come on in. (laughs) Absolutely not. Crazy. Love it. Thank you. Okay, I have a wrap. Okay. <laughs> sort of. Okay. Snip, snip, bitch. A little snip, snip. Tired of your long hair, girl, don't trip. Snip, snip, bitch. I'm a real bad bitch. Cutting your hair so you look real rich. Pink hair, blonde hair, black hair, and more. I think the question is, what the hell are you waiting for? <laughs> I've become so numb, I can't feel you there. Become so tired, so much more aware. I'm becoming this, all 
all I want to do is be more like me and be less like you. Snip, snip, bitch. A Linkin Park switch. Bet you didn't know I'm a Linkin Park bitch. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god <laughs> what the fuck was that <laughs> there was no way you could have expected it there was no way <laughs> Snip, it, snip, bitch. I'm a Linkin Park bitch. It was so bad. <laughs> and then it just off the rails. Like, I had no... I, I'm... You've left me <laughs> speechless. <laughs> Congratulations, Kelly. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Well, this has been a great episode of Night Coop. It has been. Uh, real quick, can I just announce some dates? Yes. Because I'm going to be headlining a few places coming up, and uh, I'd love to see you guys. Um, so June 2nd through 3rd, I will be in Austin at Cap City Comedy Club. Please come out. Uh, you can look on my Instagram for tickets. Uh, follow the link in the bio for the tickets. Um, I'm also going to be in Seattle, 723 and Tulsa, Oklahoma, six twenty three. So, um, if you're if you're in those places or you're nearby and whatnot, I'd love to see you guys. <sighs> Real bad. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah. Um, as always, you can follow me at this is Kelly Ryan, and I am Allie Ryan, and you can follow the Night Coop podcast page, and then you you can also give a five star review, maybe on Apple Podcasts. Ooh, that'd be crazy. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.